Hello, today we have Dr. Ankita Vaidya, Senior Consultant, Manipal Hospital, Dwarka. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, one first question that I'd like to ask you. You are uh, an expert in uh, infectious diseases, and we are seeing a lot of infectious diseases in India as well as across the globe and especially post COVID and also this is the monsoon season so it's all coming together and we see a huge peak in these kind of diseases. Uh, could you please give us some advice of you know how to handle such diseases, prevent and cure about all uh, See by infectious diseases are communicable diseases so uh, it actually spreads from person to person and we had seen last two years how it was so bad when we, are, we were dealing with COVID infection uh, another infection like monkeypox got highlighted recently so we need to understand that these are being communicable diseases are preventable diseases also so for some of the infections like um, influenza that is commonly called as flu we have vaccinations uh, that is um, highly recommended especially for people who are old age people who are diabetic heart problems who have some other health issues or uh, like if you are working in the healthcare industry so this vaccine is an annual vaccine. Similarly, we have other vaccines also. So what commonly I had seen, uh, this awareness related to vaccination is very much lacking in uh, in our society. And uh, uh, see, and you should be actually talking to your doctor if at all what all vaccines are recommended. So it's not only the COVID vaccine. We all are aware about the COVID vaccine indications and its side effects. But there are other vaccines also. Those are um, recommended and. And, uh, but we need to see that uh, whether it is actually required for you or not. So vaccination is one point. The second is hand hygiene. Uh, like uh, uh, we have uh, seen in COVID infection, hand hygiene is very important. Uh, if respiratory hygiene. So these are basic etiquettes that actually help you to prevent infections. So apart from this, there are other uh, 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 infections like tuberculosis, uh, HIV. Uh, in monsoon season, we see a lot of vector borne disease diseases like um, um, dengue, malaria, uh, if the food hygiene is not good then typhoid and gastroenteritis uh, 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 is there. So uh, these are uh, some infections which are preventable if you uh, just manage the root cause. Like if you take care of your food and water habits, uh, hygiene properly then uh, you can prevent typhoid. Again there is a vaccine for typhoid that is available. So uh, being infectious diseases these are actually uh, some of these are preventable by taking vaccination and some of these are preventable by taking uh, appropriate precautions. So doctor, could you please tell us like, you know, when people have these first symptoms of uh, these diseases, which they don't know at home, what should they do, right, you know, straight away and how should we, how they manage themselves as well as, you know, uh, what kind of uh, advice medical advice you would like to give them yes yeah, so uh, see uh, every infection has some sort of typical symptom that we see so first you need to understand that what are the common symptoms that you see when somebody is dealing with an infectious disease so very commonly we see most of the patients who come to us have fever uh, sometimes low grade or high grade depending upon what kind of infection they are having. So uh, like uh, if we see some chronic infections they can have fever which is low grade like we see in tuberculosis whereas in cases of uh, like acute infections malaria, typhoid, dengue we see high fever sometimes associated with chills, shivering is there. So fever is a very common sign of infection. Now depending upon which organ is involved like if somebody is having pneumonia or somebody is having tuberculosis they can have cough sometimes blood and cough sometimes uh, yellowish sputum coming out when they are coughing out so uh, cough is an important symptoms when lung is involved then again loose motions constipation or simply altered bowel habits can be a, uh, another symptom when the uh, intestines your GI system is involved abdominal pain so it depends upon which organ is involved headache is a very common symptom uh, when there is meningitis or some involvement of brain is there so a fever and 
a headache you need to get evaluated for any infectious disease also so if you know these symptoms be alert that there could be some sort of infection at least screen yours get yourself screened by uh, going to a doctor so that uh, if at all it is there if it is timely treated the complications are less the patient outcome is good and how do we treat it there are different antibiotics but all antibiotics doesn't work for all infections so it, it depends upon which infection a person is having accordingly we go ahead and duration is also important because uh, i see many patients who come to me and they have taken antibiotics for certain duration and they they get fever again so this because this sometimes is because of uh, the duration is not appropriate like if somebody is having a heart infection or a brain infection or a bone infection the antibiotic duration is 4 to 6 weeks so it is actually long so that has to be taken care of thank you uh, so and last question uh, today being the 76th independence day of india uh, what advice would you give uh, to the indian citizens about uh, to prevent and cope with infectious disease uh, yeah so i being an infectious disease physician and i uh, see that uh, in our country right now we are dealing with lot many infections like it's not only covid or monkey pox it's tuberculosis hiv malaria which is a, uh, which is again a pandemic then we we are dealing with dengue infection in delhi especially so i'm um, i actually advise my patients who whoever is there if you can go for your vaccination advice uh, pro- practice appropriate hygiene so that I, with the time it, it's 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 going to be a collective effort not only my effort not only your effort so it's going to be a collective effort when we can actually get rid of this these infections which which is spreading in our community like tuberculosis hiv and we can uh, save many lives